and you need your patient Sorry, it is a neurology it is a ward. Neurology ward. Yeah. You are talking to a 36 year old patient who is about to undergo a contrast MRI for a suspected brain tumor. They are feeling very nauseous and are receiving painkillers. However, they are drowsy and unsettled. As a consequence, they are reluctant to perform the diagnostic test. Yeah, so according to this particular card, there is a conversation is taking place between the patient and the nurse. It is in the neurology ward and your patient is 36 years old and the, you, you have to make ready the patient for an MRI scan. But the patient is experiencing a certain discomfort like you know, nausea and you know, uh, that's the reason the patient has been given the painkiller. But uh, the continuous, continuously the patient is experiencing some kind of discomfort and you know, uneasiness. So the patient is panicked about to go for the MRI scan. But it is mandatory because there is a suspected brain tumor only by MRI the accuracy could be done and so that they can do the surgery to the patient. So MRI is mandatory. Mm -hmm. So due to okay. the side effects of nausea, vomit and some kind of uneasiness and claustrophobic the patient is experiencing some kind of discomfort and reluctant, you know, the patient doesn't want to go for the MRI scan, reluctant to perform the MRI. So you have to convince the patient, you have to explain to the patient why is it MRI needed and why we have to do the MRI and how to, you know, cope up with the situation. And in between, if any question has been asked by the patient, step by step, you have to explain. So according okay. to your card, it is given that your task is you have to approach the patient uh, in a you know rationalized way and you have to make the patient to accept the MRI, not to be reluctant. And you have to give assurance and uh, you know attempt to negotiate a favorable behavior outcome because the patient should not panic when the MRI has been done. What is the behavior accepted? And why the painkiller has been given to the patient so that you know the patient could cope up the claustrophobic could be eliminated. So you have to speak step by step about the thing. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Right. You could start your speech. Good morning. My name is Shweta. I am a nurse on this facility. I will be taking care of you today. So how are you feeling now? Have you had your breakfast? All right. Can you your name too? All right. Uh, good morning, Nurse uh, Shweta. Good to know that you are going to help me to perform this MRI scan. And uh, but honestly speaking, Shweta, I'm extremely afraid. I'm claustrophobic, and uh, uh, I know uh, gen in general, I'm very much afraid of dark and closed uh, space. Even to you know uh, travel in the you know lift, I am really afraid to go alone. So I'm claustrophobic. Uh, but this MRI is something very difficult for me to cope up with. And moreover, I nauseate and I have a, 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 a kind of an easiness, like, you know, I sweat and I shiver. Uh, so why don't you, you know, uh, stop this MRI because I'm afraid to go for it. When you asked my name, my name is Regina. So Regina, I can understand your concern. You please don't worry about, uh, as you feel that you are having phobia in a door closed place. So it's not a small room actually, it's a big room and please don't worry because I will be there, I will be outside of the door. If you have any problem at the time of MRI, you can call us. So please don't worry about it and MRI is really uh, needed for you. That's why we are, uh, we are uh, convincing you for doing this actually. Without MRI, we can't know the exact condition, what is the problem you are having for knowing that we have to do this. So please cooperate for this and uh, and definitely we will uh, we will know the cause and what is the exact problem actually. So please don't worry about it. We will be outside over there. Anytime you can call us. But uh, no, so I'm really afraid. Uh, it's, it's too scary for me, you know, to look at this uh, MRI machine uh, because I'm afraid. I'm extremely afraid of it. As I told, I'm claustrophobic, right? And uh, you know, is there any other alternative for this MRI? Why don't you do the CT? Uh, MRI is it mandatory? 
Yes, MRI is mandatory. Actually, uh, there is another option also. We can sedate you, but it will be. Uh, but if you will cooperate without sedation, it will be more helpful to you because it will take long time. You be you have to go for fasting period. Then we will sedate you, give some sedation, and uh, it will. Uh, for at least four to six hours, you will be in drowsiness and all. That's why we are trying to do without sedation. But if you are having pro too much problem with this, we can sedate you. I I have to talk to doctor about this. So if you will well, be active, well, we can. No, so I think that could be better because you know if I'm conscious, I'm really afraid. And why the machine is uh, extremely noisy? Why the uh, why is it scary? Why is it noisy? Okay, so uh, please don't worry. I'll talk to doctor about it. Then I'll tell you what he is saying about the same. Okay. So when the question is asked by the patient, why is it noisy? You have to say that. Uh, well, it is a very good question. Generally, the machines are noisy because of the banging metal coils. You know, it is made and the vibration due to the rapid pulse of the electricity. Okay. So this is okay. the technical information that you have to say that. If the patient is asking why is it noisy, you have to encourage. You have to say, well, it is a very good question. The noisiness is because of the banging metal coils that is vibrating with the rapid pulse of electricity. And sometimes, you know, that is why you are claustrophobic because of the closed space that you are exposed to. And there is nothing to fear. It is a painless experience and you could overcome it within minutes. But of course, I could understand as you are a claustrophobic uh, uh, person, definitely it is a you know, big deal. So it is better we could give, you know, rather giving you anesthesia or painkiller, we provide you a sedative which could help you to relax for some time so that the MRA can be done to you. So that information you have to see. <laughs> okay. Right. And if I'm asking you that, you know, um, uh, how can I go ahead with the, for the MRA without fear? Any other tricks, uh, any other techniques, any other tips from your side? How do you yes, answer? Yeah. How how do I get over this you know, MRA without fear? Without fear. <clears throat> So for that, uh, some tips you could say that you know um, when uh, there are chances for you to you know to have this uh, MRI without fear. Uh, first of all, uh, you, you as you told, you are claustrophobic. Whatever explanation given, you might have that fear. But there are some ways that you could help, like you know, be uh, you, you can bring a friend or family member who could talk to you, and you know, practice some kind of a mindfulness that is some kind of meditation. Uh, like you know counseling your mind that could be helpful and also you can wear a sleeping mask okay <clears throat> that could also help you, uh, you know, because once your eyes are closed a sleeping mask so you would not feel that you are in a closed surface right okay. and uh, sometimes yeah. some mild music uh, can be played to you you could hear and apart from all these things as you are claustrophobic and whatever we do the fear will be there for you so we could give you a sedative, uh, a mild sedative that could relax you. So that could be better. So I check with the doctor and I do it. That could be a better option. Okay. And, okay. and you, you have to say that in case, you know, uh, if you panic during an MRI, uh, there could be a, a rapid flunch, uh, fluctuation. You know, uh, that you know, panic attack you might experience. You know, if you, if you have a panic attack during the you know, MRI, your heartbeat, you uh, know, will increase. You know, rapid pulse will be there. You might experience difficulty to breathe, sweating, and other kind of you know distressing symptoms will be there. So you should not panic when the MRI has been done to you. So I think if you are conscious, definitely you would get panicked. So sedative is the only way. Rather going for anesthesia or painkiller for a longer time. So sedatives which could relax your mind, so that could be helpful too. I check with the doctor and let you know. This information okay. you have to say. Because here, uh, all the needed information you have to state. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Right. Um, so finally, I would be asking you a few questions like, you know, uh, well, uh, nurse, uh, I have a fear because I have read in certain articles and I have gone through, I, I have a um, it, it is a hearsay, I could say that, uh, people might get struck in the MRI machine. Is it so? No, it's not true. Uh, 
people is not stacking in MRI. Actually, if we, we can see you from outside clearly. If there will be any problem, definitely we will be over there. So please don't worry about the machinery and these uh, another problems. Yeah. So here again, it is a good question. So you have to appreciate. Yes, it is a wonderful question. Uh, actually, people, anybody who had already had any kind of fracture or any metal has been inserted in their body, definitely they have to disclose all these things to the doctor, uh, especially the radiologist, before they go for the MRI. Uh, because yes, any metal is there that could observe to the machine, chances, okay. you know, yes. so it could lead to some kind of uh, uh, you know, uh, accidents. So, yes. um, yeah, so, but don't panic. There is no chance for you to struck in the uh, MRI machine. It is all unnecessary fear that you create. I can understand you are thoroughly phobic. Uh, so, you know, uh, the radiographer would once again speak to you and explain the things. Even the doctor will explain it once again before you go for the MRI. Or doctor is the right person, I think, uh, as you are thoroughly panicked. I checked with the doctor once again that you are very much afraid to go for the MRI. Is there any other option? Like, you know, CT scan could be helpful too. I check with the doctor once again. So that information okay. also you could. Okay. And okay, ma'am. Yeah. Finally, is there any side effects? You know, because after the MRI has been done, some people might you know experience some kind of side effects. So if I'm asking you, what are the side effects of MRI scan? So what information you could give? Is there any side effects what? because of MRI? No, there is no side effects. Ah, so that is the information yeah. you have to say. Well, yeah. uh, uh, definitely there is no side effects because of the MRI scan. Actually, MRI scan is going to benefit you because when we do the MRI scan, you know, it could it could take clear picture or a picture of your inner organs. And you know the, it could be precise and accurate in order to detect what is the real abnormality. As we suspect that you you might have brain tumor, MRI is the best method. Uh, it is the best you know diagnostic method which could you know take a clear picture where you know the tumor is located. How to do the surgery? Uh, so I request you to don't get panic. There is no side effects because of MRI. You, you are going to be benefited in order to you know, cure the lesions and you know, to, to remove the tumor. So don't uh, panic. Your total cooperation is needed. Okay? Okay, ma'am. So yes, ma that is all the needed correct points because just like, you know, I'll check with the doctor, I'll let you know. Again, again, saying, no, don't panic. No, it is not like that instead of saying. Uh, then and there, you have to give the clear information like how safe the MRI is why the MRI has been done and when the patient says that I'm and I'm, I'm claustrophobic and how uh, you could help the uh, person to overcome the claustrophobic because claustrophobic when, when the person is phobia towards a certain things it is not that easy immediately to convince okay and claustrophobic yes, is yes. something uh, I mean even if it is a small close to room also people might get afraid if the room is yes. small room and even in the lift, mm -hmm. and the patient told that you know, even in the lift, I'm afraid to travel alone in the closed surface because the immediate power cut is there. What will happen? So the patient is thoroughly, uh, you know, claustrophobic. So in such a situation, you have to try your level best in order to convince the patient, rather pressurizing or panicking the patient. At the same time, the question asked by the patient, it is all you know, very uh, uh, genuine and practical questions. And um, if there is any kind of mishap, chances for the no, uh, MRI scan, it could be sometimes the dangerous accidents might occur. Uh, so always in the in the MRI scan room, you know, what they do, you no, know, they keep away that there should not be any metal. Even the oxygen metal cylinder also could uh, you know, get attracted towards the MRI scan. There was one accident, uh, you know, a seven-year-old boy when they were doing it. It happened in uh, US, I think. Okay, a boy when they do okay. the MRI scan, uh, by the time mm -hmm. unknowingly there was an you know, uh, oxygen cylinder was in that room. So that oxygen cylinder when the MRI machine has been uh, kept on, it got struck and the boy head got struck, a body got struck inside the MRI and the boy died. Okay, so that is the reason uh, when they do the MRI scan, they clearly check that you know, the patient as well as the people next to that, there, there is no metal around it. That is very, very important. Because it is, you know, it is a magnet, right? It is a magnet. What is it, the MRI? 
MRI is called it is a you know, magnetic resonance. Okay, um, so uh, automatically it attracts or everything that is metal, and that could be dangerous. Okay, so whatever okay. question asked by the patient, it is a you know technical question and it is a valid question. So rather saying don't panic, don't panic. When the patient, that's what I told you know, sometimes the examiner who is playing the role of the patient, they ask uh, valuable, re related, and you know, accurate questions. So rather convincing, don't panic. You should be in a position to explain each and every question. So that is okay. why you know I told you to do this. Uh,